Hello again, and welcome to the latest bulletin from Haverhill UK News, brought to you by Haverhill TV. In the news for today, Friday, January the 11th, the man who axed efforts to get Haverhill High Street pedestrianised is to come to a public meeting in the town to explain his decision. The boss of Suffolk County Council has pledged to do something about the county's latest dismal showing in the Education League tables, third from bottom. And there will be a week of free films at Haverhill Arts Centre at the end of this month to try out a new digital projector. The man who has brought a halt to pedestrianisation, hopes for Haverhill High Street, will be coming to the town in March to explain why. Councillor Guy McGregor, Suffolk County Council's portfolio holder for transport, made the decision after a special meeting he held in Haverhill, but from which senior police representatives were excluded. Since the decision, Haverhill Town Clerk Will Austin, who put the case for pedestrianisation forcefully at this meeting, has been asking for an explanation. At December's Safer Neighbourhood Team public forum, residents agreed to ask the forum chairman, Councillor Tim Marks, to write to Councillor McGregor and demand he come and explain himself to them. Councillor McGregor will attend the next SNT public forum on Monday, March the 11th at 7pm at Burton End Primary School, and anyone is welcome to come along and give him their views on the issue. And a pedestrian was injured in an accident in Haverhill High Street on the Saturday after Christmas. Tony Adams was taken to hospital with minor injuries after being in collision with a pedal cyclist who made off. Police want to talk to the cyclist, who is in his late twenties and was wearing a black jacket and riding a white or light coloured racing bike. The incident happened on the pavement outside the post office at around 7.30pm. Any information to Sergeant Mel Lehman of Haverhill Police on 101. Suffolk's most senior council official last night laid bare her feelings about the county's school's league table position and told a high-level gathering of educational professionals in London that it had galvanised the council's resolve for change. Suffolk came third from bottom nationally in league tables published just before Christmas. The Council Chief Executive, Deborah Cadman, said this reinforced her commitment to making a difference. She told the Royal Society for the Encouragement of Arts, Manufacturers and Commerce, RSA, that enough was enough. These results were not good enough, and she was therefore more convinced than ever that what they were doing to improve education performance through reorganisation and the Raising the Bar programme was absolutely the right thing to do. The action plan they had set out was tough, but needed to achieve what they wanted to achieve for Suffolk's young people. There had been excellent results in schools which had gone through reorganisation, as Haverhill has, but there had been a lot of poor results elsewhere. And finally, there will be free films on at Haverhill Arts Centre at the end of the month as the centre tries out its new projector. To celebrate the installation of the centre's new digital cinema projector, there will be four, four days of free films. The movies include favourites such as The Iron Lady, The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, French language film Delicacy, docudrama The Imposter, and the recent release Hysteria. Haverhill Town Council Arts and Leisure Manager Nick Keeble said they increasingly found films were only being distributed on a digital format and they were missing out on some great cinema. The new projector means they can get us to show a greater variety of films. You can book your tickets in advance through the box office 01440 714140 or online www.haverhillartscentre.co.uk. That's it for today, but join us again on Tuesday and keep up to date by going to www.haverhilluk.co.uk or following us on Twitter. And don't forget my weekly Heart of the Matter video blog tomorrow. Meanwhile, here is the weekend weather.